I ran out of funds. I couldn't afford rent in both L.A. and and uh, New York. Before you found success, uh, what were the ways in which the, the smart ways in which you'd go about saving money? Well, I was not profligate. You know, I didn't blow a lot of money. I was not. I, I didn't have any vices. I didn't have any bad habits. I could not sleep at night if I knew that next week or next month was going to be uh, be at risk. So I, I, I saved money. I, 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 didn't, I didn't spend money stupidly. When we were down to uh, living on a serious budget, though, and it was time to go to like do a week of grocery shopping, we'd kind of like imagine, okay, we, I think we, could, we have $45 here. Let's, what can we do for $45? And anytime we bought something, I rounded up the cost, you know, and it never, never failed to make me feel good because we'd have a, a week's worth of groceries and I'd still have, you know, I, I'd get three bucks back from my 40. So we, we could do it all for $42. There's a moment where you're at a chemical bank branch in New York oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, waiting to deposit an out of state check. What do you remember from that? Uh, well, okay. Here's, this is a pretty good story. You ready for this? We were in New York. I'd, I had sold the car and a few of things, and I had a bankroll and put the deposits down on a pretty dark and dingy apartment there in Hell's Kitchen. So I was waiting for my first unemployment check to come in. And so I, I was going from having $25 in the bank to having close to, close to $500 in the bank. That, that, that's a big day. And I wanted to draw some money off of that in order to uh, in order to get, <laughs> in order to buy groceries, and uh, they they insisted on waiting for the check to clear. And it was a, a state it was a check from the state of Ohio, and I I I I'm not a contentious guy, but I did I did cause a stink. I said, "Look, I got a kid who needs groceries. This check is from the state of Ohio. It's good." And the bank manager was very pissed off at me. And he said, he, he let me write a check for like, like 50 bucks, you know, off the thing. The bigger thing about that, that was from a chemical bank. That bank, that space on the second floor of that building right now was converted into a Bubba Gump shrimp company, <laughs> shrimp restaurant. <laughs> so the place... So there you go. There's 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 cruel fate, odd fate right there. Set the scene where you move from New York to L.A. Uh, and you end up needing to ask your producers to borrow money. We had made the pilot for Bosom Buddies, Peter Scolari and I. Um, the show got sold. Uh, I left. We 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 tried to sublet our apartment in New York and we went to Los Angeles uh, with the understanding that we were going to go, we were going to go into production uh, in July, but the actor's strike of 1980 came along and shut that down. And I ran out of funds. I couldn't afford rent in both LA and uh, New York. So I informed the, uh, the producers uh, that I'd been in LA and I said, I'm, look, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't want to screw things up, but I, I have to go back to, to New York because of the strike. And they said, well, why didn't you ask us for an advance? That's allowed. I, I, I wouldn't know how to do that. Hey, I haven't done any work for you guys, but, but pay me a few thousand bucks. And they said, of course we do that for you. That, that was Tom Miller and Bob Boyette, their kindness and their largesse made it possible for me and my family to uh, to be secure in Los Angeles. And to this day, if I ever run into Bob, I always get down on, on one hand and uh, one knee and I kiss his hand and thanks because that, I mean, it's not often you can say somebody saved your life. Bob Boyette saved, saved my life. 